Hey guys, I want to do a quick overview on SMTP Ghost and all the new features that we have and all the abilities of things that you can do in the software. I know since the last video, it's been almost a year ago, we've added tons of new features. So I just really want to go over um, kind of everything that we can do now. So like I said, we have a lot of free new tools that you can just check out by just going to the homepage and checking them out. We have an email finder, we have an email checker, we have a LinkedIn email finder, and we have a domain search finder. So these are all free to try without an account. And you can use these um, to just sort of see the, how they work. And again, if you want, you can also sign up after for a free account with more credits. So the next thing that we have um, is like when you log in, you have obviously your dashboard. And here we have organization analytics. Uh, we added more stats, we added more date ranges. And again, you can see today, yesterday, last seven days, last six, last 30 days, and last 60 days. Um, and then here you have all the information you would ever want about your cold email campaigns. Um, so for example, here is one that we did. And you know I sent four emails, 100% open rate, and 25 uh, replied, and then no clicks, and then campaign was clicked. So that's your dashboard, and that's kind of very useful to see um, your campaigns quickly that um, when you log in. And then we have your campaigns. Campaigns is kind of, we'll come back to it, but this is kind of where um, you can create anything you want. And we'll do a sample campaign in a little bit. And then we have listen segments. Listen segments are, think of them as uh, all the contacts you want to you want to email. And here you we have unlimited contacts, unlimited lists that you can create. And all you need to do is just go to upload contacts, add in a list here. We'll do one called the V2 demo create your list and then here uh, we'll import a list right now uh, we'll do a, we'll do a, we'll do a list in a little bit later but we'll come back to that and then you have credits again credits can be used for many things in the, in the, in the software which is going to be from enrichment uh, to mostly enhancing emails or even doing like AI operations with it and then here you have all the email accounts you can have you can add unlimited email accounts we we mostly work with uh, gmail google auth and any sort of like custom smtp we can connect and then you have your calendar which is um all the the calendar schedules that you want for your emails so let's say for example you want to see your ca calendar you can come in and check um, what's being sent um, you can edit the ranges, when do you want to send them, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., and also the days of the week, and also any sort of uh, time zone that you want to have for for a, a specific account or a group of accounts as well. And then we also have anything like what's happening today. So if you have any emails being sent, anything I replied, you can use this as a way to see uh, just for today. Another thing, too, is that we have email replies. So the email replies, you could see who responded, to, um, who responded back to you, and then also you could also see... Um, uh, what they said and then again you can also reply directly back to them so that's a quick feature that you can use and then we also have obviously all the tools such as email verification um, finding emails by name emails by company uh, verifying emails and again finding emails from LinkedIn profiles this is very helpful in case you want to just use these tools to uh, get more leads and then we also have templates so templates are just ways for you to easily create a template and then save that and then use it in your campaigns. Another thing that we have which is useful is going to be the lead finder. The lead finder feature allows you to find leads from different platforms. So obviously the biggest one is going to be Google Maps, websites, uh, we have Instagram and then we have Twitter coming soon. Um, and once you use this you can come in, I'll do a quick overview of each one. We have the Google Maps scraper, so scrape from Google Maps. We have your website domain which is basically you can input uh, URLs and then we'll go ahead and try to scrape the emails from them. And then we have Instagram profile so you can put in uh, a profile names and then a search term and then we'll get all those emails and profiles for you. And then again we also have hashtags so you can search by a hashtag. We also have Instagram followers so in case you want to follow you want to get the followers of a profile we can do that as well. And then again, you can see you can also get you can also get Instagram profiles of people that they're following, and that's available as well. And then again, do Twitter hashtag and Twitter profiles are coming soon. Um, and the next part is we have cold email inspiration, which is basically emails um, that you might want to look at to see what people are sending. And I'll open a few. And again, you can see how they look like um, by just here. Um, and again, this is just how they look, and you could see um, what they're sending, how they sent. So that way, in case you need inspiration, 
you can come in and see um, how to send some emails to uh, certain industries. A big thing that we have too is, of course, we have a global block list. Um, and here, in case you want to not send emails out to certain audience or certain or certain leads, you can come in and add that here as well. And then again, we also have your contacts, which is all the leads that you want to that you have in the system. And then we have support, email support, and picture requests. Um, so now that we have this, let's go into um, the campaigns and let's try to create a new campaign right now. Or let's like let's do, yeah, let's do a new campaign right now. So we'll use this one, which is a plumber's V2 demo. Come in here. Let's add in some contacts. I'll put in some contacts here. <laughs> Again, I'll do this all real time so you guys can see how um, all this will work for your own account as well. So here's some contacts I have. And in this file, I have an email column, a phone number, name, latitude, longitude, full address, review count rating, website, uh, links, and all this will be uh, created for us. So now let's just do import contacts. Yep, so you can see that we uploaded 57 and removed 21 duplicate contact contacts. So we only, we're only going to be getting the unique ones. So now what you have is a list. And in this list, we have different enrichment options, uh, which I'll go over briefly. Um, but again, for each enrichment options, we do have videos for all of them. So you can see how it works. Um, so in here, now you can see all your contacts and you could see all the columns that were imported from the CSV. And again, you could also see if they were validated um, through email verification, if they were sent and the status of each contact. Uh, I'll do a quick overview of what this is. So let's say you want to enrich with LinkedIn. You can come in here and if the, for example, if that CSV has a LinkedIn profile, we can go in and then get all the LinkedIn data for that profile without you having to log in. And we can also go and scrape content such as basically for something like this. Um, I'll go back here and explain it. Since we have the website address, we can go in there and get the website content uh, for that contact. And what you might want to do with that is then you can you can pair that up with summarize the website. So you can then summarize this or you can pair it with uh, the AI ChatGPT module here that allows us to um, essentially do some sort of competitive intelligence, icebreakers, um, news, determine if the company is a SaaS or not, and then use that with the description that we have or the company website and then you can get that field and then you can use that in your emails so there's a lot of stuff you could do here to sort of enhance and personalize all the emails that way it's always um, custom for each user and that just means better deliver deliverability but also um, you know basically it doesn't go to spam so let's try to create a campaign right now so we have this this um, list so let's go to create campaign and name it, let me name it Plumbers V2 Demo. And let's say, for example, we want to send it today. Here, we can, we, you have unlimited options to send. So you can send to as many emails that you have connected. And that's what makes it uh, unlimited options for you. And then again, we also have uh, different features that you can turn on. Stop sending emails from reply, which is always turned on because typically, if you have a sequence set up, you don't want to send more emails if they replied back to you. We also have ro uh, rotation IPs, so you can increase the ability. Um, by default, we have enable open tracking, but you can disable it as well. That way you can, um, basically, we don't know if the emails are open, but we'll also remove any sort of tracking pixels in case you want that. Um, you, typically, we see people using that if they're sending thousands of emails a day. And then again, we also have deliver deliverability optimization. So let's just go with the default for now. Click next. And then now here we can come in and choose the list. So we'll do this one. And now our list is ready to go. And let's create your initial email. So we'll start off with the very popular one, quick question. And here is where now you can come in and write your email. So you can say, hey, but the nice thing about this is that we also have per we also have personalization tags that you can come in and use. So let's say like, hey, um, We'll do, um, we'll do like, since we don't have it, we'll do like, hey there. I saw that your ratings on, <clears throat> on Google are, since we know what the ratings are, we can say ratings. And I think I can help you get those higher. 
<clears throat> again, just write this. If you have five minutes, five minutes for a quick call this week. And then we have that. And then here you can then also enter in your sending account first name, because if you have multiple accounts, you might, you want to sort of make it dynamic, but I'll, I'll do this for now. And then again, we also have the ability to um, add in the unsubscribe link. So this just helps with deliability in case you um, are sending it to leads I've never heard from before. So let's add that. And then you have this. And then again, you could also preview, send yourself a preview email to see how it looks. You could also check your spam score. So you can just press here. And then you could also check how the spam score is. So you can see moderate spam likelihood. Let me move this real quick. So you can sort of get a breakdown of why that is. And you can see that there. And then you also have um, a deliverability score. Deliverability score is we're using Spam Assassin so that you can actually see how that looks. Um, and then let's wait a second to see. And again, you can see here, um, basically, if you look at the ratings, it's from zero to 10. So zero to three means high deliverability, means low chance of being marked as spam. So this one is zero to 10. You can see that this one is going to get delivered. So that's how you can use this as well. Let's close that out. And then now we can also add a follow-up email. So now here in a follow-up email, we can say, did you receive my previous message? And typically you might want to also um, add in another um, you know, maybe a personalization tag. So we can think about like, um, let's add in like mm, this address. Be like, oh, let's move this. Are you still at, I am going to be in that area this week and would love to drop by. And then again, you can say, you can add in your first name your first name yep and then let's set a delay so we'll do this uh, two three days later so let's save that email so now that we have that we can also see that we also have a, a b testing so now let's set up an a b test and this will basically duplicate the whole campaign and then here you can see different sequences so now in here we can come in edit and and make um another thing like save email and then again now you can see that we'll be testing the subject line so one will be quick question the second one will be uh, do you want higher Google reviews and then let's just go to the next and then now here we'll have both sequences and what you can also do is test to see how it will look like with uh, some of the variables so you can see here hey I saw your rating Google 4.9 and I think I get those higher so you can see uh, what it will look like and sometimes what you'll see is for like global variables or um, kind of like company or SMTP ghost, essentially internal variables, you won't see it replicated just because these are kind of calculated at time when they're sent because uh, we don't know which email account is getting sent yet because we have to schedule those. So then this is why this will look like this. But on the right hand side, you could see the other variables that you have. And this, remember, this comes from your list. So now, now you could see here, hey, are you still at this? I'm going to the area this week. So you can see how that will look like. And again, uh, you can preview with uh, A or B as well. So then you can select it. And then next step is going to be sending it. So here, since you have a tons of sending accounts that we pick selected, we'll sort of show you um, all the different settings for each account. And then you just click on schedule campaign now. And that's how, how SMTP goes works. And other things that you'll be seeing too is notifications here. So you can see when your leads are ready, any errors that come up and you can see everything from uh, the dashboard. But I hope that's helpful to understand how SMTP Ghost works and all the new features that we have. Thanks.